Kathy from Kathy's Vegan Kitchen. I hope you're enjoying the recipes. Hit that subscribe button. Today we're making an asparagus, a roasted asparagus salad with orzo pasta. And we're going to start with the asparagus. I cut off the woody ends and then what I did was I cut it into little bite-sized pieces. We like the thin asparagus and the reason we like it, we think it tastes better, but you need to remember that if you have very thick asparagus, the cooking time is going to be a little different. Okay, I'm going to cook this, I'm going to roast it on a pan at 400 degrees for just 15 minutes. If your asparagus is way thick, you're going to have to add some more time, just so you know, so it's cooked all the way through. You don't want to overcook it either. So instead of using oil, because I don't use oil when I cook, I am going to use half of a lemon, and I'm going to juice it. And what that's going to do is it's going to get my asparagus wet and I'm going to toss it around a little bit and then I'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of onion powder they're both in there that gives a lot of there and we're going to toss it around a little bit to get that seasoning on there and I'm going to put it on the pan you can use parchment paper too I have a silicone baking mat you only want, you want it to be in a single layer so they're not on top of each other. Okay, in the meantime, I am boiling a pot of water with a tablespoon of salt. And that is correct. You're supposed to cook orzo with a tablespoon of salt. And if you look at orzo, if you've never cooked with orzo before, it looks like rice, a little bit bigger, but it's a pasta. This is a whole grain version. They do have whole grain and gluten-free version. I've never cooked with a gluten-free version, so I don't know. And this takes 15 minutes to cook, and the orzo only takes 7 minutes to cook. So I'm going to pop these in the oven. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. While we're waiting, while we're waiting for this to start to boil, we're going to make the dressing. The dressing is real simple. You do not need a blender. I have a quarter cup of champagne vinegar, and I got it at Whole Foods. Champagne vinegar is exactly what it sounds like. Red wine vinegar comes from red wine. White wine comes from white wine. This comes from champagne. It is vinegar, though. It's not alcohol. I have two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Two tablespoons of maple syrup. You can sub date syrup. You can sub agave or any other sweetener that you prefer. I like fresh maple syrup. And two tablespoons of water. Water, when you replace uh, um, oil with water, it acts as an emulsifier and it takes that bite out of the vinegar so it isn't so strong. And then you're just gonna shake it up. You don't need a blender. Now, you can serve this salad warm or cold. We're going to do it cold. It's actually warm in Arizona right now. It's in the 70s. So we're enjoying the nice weather. But for those of you who still might be in the Midwest or somewhere cold, you might want to just wait and have it a little warm. So we're still waiting for this to boil. Oh, it's starting. All right, I'm going to add this pasta in here. It takes seven minutes to cook. We're going to cook it for seven minutes, and then we're going to come back. The asparagus is roasted. And I'm going to drain the pasta. And although it says on the bag not to rinse it in water, we're not adding a sauce to it and making it creamy like ro most risottos are. And I want it cold for the salad, so I'm going to run it through cold water. Okay, so we're going to add the orzo pasta into a bowl. And it's cooled down. And to it, I'm going to add cooled asparagus. Which is also not hot anymore. I'm going to add all the asparagus. Don't want to miss any little asparagus pieces. Okay. I have a quarter cup of Kalamata olives that I cut in half. I have five green onions or scallions that I chopped up. I have one cup of grape tomatoes that I cut in half. 
and I have half a cup of parsley. This summer, this is like a summer salad or like a spring salad. It's a very light. All right, then we're gonna put this dressing on and the dressing absorbs into the pasta. So even when it goes into the refrigerator, you can eat it tomorrow. You can eat it the next day. I mean, it stays, actually the longer it's in the refrigerator, the better it tastes. And when it gets cold in the refrigerator, it absorbs all those flavors. It's super yummy. And that's it. Asparagus salad. And Paul is going to taste test for us because he's such a good taste tester. So we'll be right back. Hey, here he goes, asparagus salad. Okay. Going deep. This is my special fork Kathy got me. It says, I forking love you. <laughs> so I did PG. All right, what kind of pasta what kind of rice is this? Orzo pasta. Oh, pasta. There's scallions in here? Yes. Do you know one time I went to the supermarket and I couldn't find scallions? Because you didn't know what they were? I know they're green peppers. Green, onions. Mm -hmm. green peppers? Green peppers. <laughs> this that's, is why I grocery shop. That's why you grocery shop. <laughs> I'm going to get a Kalamala olive. I love those. Yeah. And asparagus and some of this pasta. Ooh. Dressing's really good. Yeah. Very good. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Thumbs up. Great comments. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.